make the best game win one cent. Me and Ben Bunk will be using the Unity game engine to- <laughs> Whoever wins has to send the other one a single cent. I know, crazy steak. This is basically all of my financials, so I better do my best. First thing we did was 30 minutes before the time, where me and Ben used a random jam theme gen to find a theme. Death is only the beginning. It instantly sparked ideas. Since me and Ben Bunk only had these 30 minutes to come up with a proper idea, I instantly went to Milanote, not sponsored, and added a few boards of ideas to brainstorm. I came up with an idea of a game where you could die in multiple ways, and the way you die changes the movement controls. Just as I got my idea down, I heard it was go time. Ben and I were ready for our first challenges. Oh, you don't know what I mean by challenges? Basically, every few hours, me and Ben would give each other challenges to slow each other down. There'll be five challenges, each of varying difficulty. My first challenge, every 10 minutes, you must get up and do 30 jumping jacks. Oh. Is that okay? Um, Is that yeah, too okay. much? Well, I survived, but it wasn't fun. Now, finally, we've started and I can finally start developing. I'm constantly doing jumping jacks in the first hour, by the way. We were allowed to use our passcode, so I quickly plopped in a self-made character controller with variable jump height and such. I had mixed results, but I managed eventually to get it working. Ben forced me to play Among Us lobbies for 20 minutes. Then I just went one by one, adding the aforementioned death states. Bubbles make you constantly float up and you can move horizontally as you want to. Bullets, you can move quickly in any any direction, but you can't stop moving, only redirect yourself. Rock, you constantly fall down and can't jump, but you can break glass. All of that took about 10 seconds to explain, but it took about 4 hours to make. So when that was all ready, I called Ben Bonk for my third challenge, which was to only use one hand for 30 minutes. Now when I say this was pain, I mean it was pain. Try to hold control and then press 8 with only one hand. If I wasn't a six foot Viking, I would have just been screwed. Also, I have a very big appreciation now for using both hands while programming. Never take that for granted. Well, this next part wasn't too interesting since I just made some shitty programmer art and slapped it in. At this point, about eight hours were over and only 16 left, and it was time to hit the sack, so I lost eight hours, but gave Ben a little gift before I went to sleep. When I woke up, I had about eight hours left of the game. I opened my phone and Ben had challenged me to take a picture of a squirrel. It took about 30 minutes, so screw you, Ben. Well, eventually, I was home and ready to work my ass off. Now that all the basic mechanics were in and art, the only thing left was level design. Now, fun fact, Unity's Tile Map Collider straight up fucking sucks. And the final product suffered a lot because of it. Still, I managed to make some good levels. Well, I didn't explain everything to him, but I swear they're good. At least that's what Ben and Vim thought. It's too bad they were not the ones judging the games. Oh, and my next challenge at this point was to have the nightlight at 100 for 30 minutes. Go screw yourself, Ben Bonk. Well, I mean, Vim Lark and his community voted for Ben's game, but it was kind of rigged if you ask me. So, the game was done and it was time to play Ben's game. I'm not gonna spoil it since you should watch Ben's video. But my thought was that I liked the core loop, but it was repetitive after a short while and then it kind of just kept going. Now, Nate played it and, well, he couldn't get through my game. It was a puzzle game, so he probably just wasn't smart enough to beat it. Just kidding, Nate. Well, in the end, Ben won and I had to forfeit my savings. Sorry, future kids. Guess you're not going to college. That is, unless the person watching this were to like and sub. Hope you enjoyed. Check out my Discord and Patreon. Bye!